Hi there, welcome back. Today I will show you how to create animated callout titles of your own styles in just three simple steps in DaVinci Resolve. Here are some callout examples I have made with the help of a few essential tools, they look pretty cool. Creating them is actually very simple, and here is how you can also do it in less than a minute. For example, here is a drone image. I'd like to add some callouts to explain the parts of a drone. Add an essential arrow line to the track above the image. Since the image is bright, we change the line color to a darker one, such as blue. Adjust the line thickness, 0.003 looks good to me. Turn off the end arrow. Enable the fusion overlay in the viewer. Right-click the view, change the path editing mode to insert and modify only. Move the start point over to the part you want to show the title, for example the camera. Click in the middle of the line to add another point. Drag and move the control points on the line, so that it looks like a callout line. Since the arrow line is animated by default, we have got an animated callout line ready. If all you need is a callout line, you can skip the second step for creating a box and add the title right away. Add an essential title to the timeline. Also change the text color to blue. Change the text to front camera. Adjust the text size. Move the text above the line. OK, this looks good. To only show the title after the line animation, move the title clip forward about 15 frames, which is the default animation time of the arrow line. By the way, here is a quick method to move a clip by time code. Select the title clip, simply enter plus 15, press enter. The title is now moved to the right by 15 frames. If you enter minus 15, the title will move backwards. If you want to know more about editing shortcuts, you can check out this video up here. You can also add the fade in effect to reveal a title slowly. Or move the call out to where you want to start. All right, we now have a basic call out title with animations. Also the start arrow type can be easily changed to any of these predefined ones in this drop-down list. Let's change to circle 3, which is a circle with a dot in the middle. Increase the size a bit. Looks good, I like this one. If you don't like the line connected to the center dot, you can change the offset X and Y to change the start arrow position. You may want to reposition the start point after changing the offsets. The title fade in effect seems to be too simple. We can go to the animation tab in the inspector and choose one or more of these entry animations. Enable the slide effect. Set the angle to minus 90. I want the text sliding in from the bottom. Turn off the fade in effect so that we can see the text position at the beginning. Adjust the slide distance to set the starting position right below the line. Enable the text mask because we want the title visible only inside the masking area. Play the timeline, now the title slides up after the line is complete. We can change the ease mode to smooth the animation. For example, the back option. Or enable multiple effects. Let's enable the zoom effect and the fade in effect. Great, this looks nice. To add some description of the camera, we can add another title at the top. Change the text to for image and video capture and recording. Change the color. Text size. 
Move the title under the line. Change the size and alignment if necessary. Also enable the slide effect. This time, we change the angle to 90, so it slides from the top. Enable the mask. Change the mask size to match the area of the text title. OK, we've demoed the two-step approach of making callout titles using the essential arrow line and essential title templates. If you don't have the templates, you can download them from links in the descriptions. Next, we will create a callout with a box. This time, instead of the adding the arrow line from the effects panel, we can hold the Alt or Option key and drag the clip to create a copy and put it on the top. Make sure the new clip is selected. Go to the viewer, drag and adjust the points to set the callout line for the electric motor. Reset the offset to realign the starting circle. From the Generators folder in the Effects panel, drag and add an essential shape clip to the top. As we only need a box, we can turn off the background. Change the border thickness to the same as the line, which is 0.003. Change the line color to blue as well. Resize and position the box to the right of the line, like this. Enable the border animation options. Similarly move the shape right by 15 frames. Cool, we have the line and box both animated. But they are not in sync with each other. In the inspector, change the start position, so that the box animation starts from the joint. Great, the animations are now connected seamlessly, like it's a continued drawing line. Similarly, we can alt-drag to duplicate the essential title clips and put on the top. Change the big title to Electric Motor. Resize the text and move it inside the box. Set the description title to Four Turning Rotor Blades. Move it inside the box, resize the text as needed. Alright, this is the three-step workflow to create a callout message with a box. We can change the box to other shapes, like a circle. Or a polygon. To create complex shapes like some of the callouts in my examples, you will need to use the group mode in the shape effect, which allows you to create unions or intersections of multiple shapes. I will make another video to show some tips and tricks of creating boxes for callout titles. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.